Welcome to Dinner Party. Let's go over these step-by-step -step instructions together. You're going to be very proud of this essay when you complete it. This essay consists of one long PDF. In the upper left-hand corner will be your name, course date, and of course the word count. This will be written in Times New Roman 12 font and it will be double-spaced. A clever title plus a title image which will go over below. A seven pa paragraph essay as detailed below with the images as shown in the outline template below. A work cited and finally your completed outline. Let's go over this together. Step one. First things first, go over to easybib.com and set up a project for this essay. Let's do that together. Logged into easybib.com, the account I created at the beginning of this semester. I click on create a citation list and I name it Dinner Party. Step two, think of a cause that means something to you. If you're not sure, you can always just go to Google or talk to people or look around and just Think about your world and what's important to you. Puppies, kittens, political candidate, equipment for a fire station, historic site, renovating a zoo, whatever means something to you. Now make sure that this is a narrow topic. We're not saving the world here, so come up with something specific. And then you have your topic. You're going to pitch this topic in this essay and the outcome you desire at a dinner party for which you have an unlimited budget. You don't have to worry about how you would afford to throw this party. You have all the money you need. Now you have your topic and step three is to go to the discussion board and lock your dinner party topic. If somebody else already has your topic as you scroll down the list of posts that have already been created, then either refine your focus or look for a new topic but you must lock your topic. I need to see what you're working on so I can work with you as you go through this process. See, we're already through the first three steps. Hasn't that been fun? Now it's time for some research. You're gonna open up that EasyBib project that you created, and you're gonna start by defining sites that explain what the topic is and what is needed. If you are working, for example, on coming up with a piece of equipment for a fire station, you can assume that the reader knows what a fire station is. But you would assume that the reader does not know what kind of equipment you are talking about until you explain that along with citations. We need to know facts. Think about your reader and what do they need to know in order to support your cause. You want facts not vague awareness ideas. This is not an awareness essay. You can assume that people know that your topic exists and are interested to learn more. This is not a public service announcement. This is a specific event that is designated for the purpose of an outcome. You want people to do something. And I've written down a couple of things there. Now, the second thing in this research is what is needed. Do you need money? Let's say that I want to, uh, I found this park building uh, out at a big park, and I want to make that building into a playhouse. I need to know how much that would cost. How do I find that out? by simply researching what other playhouses in the area cost. I don't have to go to a great deal of research, but I need to have an idea and a cited source that indicates how much would be reasonable for a playhouse. If I want to do something else, I need to make sure that I have researched that. You're brilliant, you know what I'm talking about, so do that. Isn't this exciting? You're already having fun. Step five, now that I know my projected outcome, it's time to make decisions about my party. Keeping in mind what my topic is, where will the event take place, what kind of dinner party am I hosting? If I'm raising money for a renovation of a local playhouse, as I just said, maybe I start with a tour of the facility and then I'm gonna host a theatrical dinner party at a restaurant close to the playhouse. 
whatever it is that you're doing, think of something that is relevant to your topic. Next, who am I going to invite to this dinner party? I have two kinds of entities coming to this party. First, I'm going to invite people who will help me achieve my goal. If I want something built, then I want to invite carpenters and people who know how to build things, right? I need architects. I need people who know how to plan something if I want something built. If I'm doing a neighborhood event, then I want to invite the people in my neighborhood and so forth. Just read this information for step six and make sure that you have decided who your basic guests are that you want to have come to this dinner party. Now you're going to ask VIP guests to pitch your project. You're going to invite five special guests. One author, critic, journalist, somebody who is a person who can spread the word. That person is called a maven. Isn't that a wonderful word? I love that word. It's like the person that knows how to get word out about what you're doing. And that's going to be one of your VIP guests. A historical figure, alive or dead. This could be Benjamin Franklin or the current city mayor or a politician, alive or dead. This person definitely supports your cause. Now you're going to have entertainment at your party. So you're going to invite a musician, actor, artist, whatever supports your cause and is there as entertainment. Now this is important because you want to read the room here. If you are doing a little puppy rescue thing in the neighborhood park, you're not going to blast the neighborhood with a rock and roll band into the, if you are pitching a new playground, you don't want Black Sabbath to play. You'd want a lovely playful music. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so choose your music, musician or your artist or your actor based on your project, not on your personal preference. I know I have a hard time with that too. Now you're going to need an authority, an activist, a fact finder. This is the person, the VIP person who is in charge of the facts. They will be presenting the need to your party members. They will explain things they, and you'll see that in the outline below. And these are your folks. And your final VIP guest is the person who needs to be convinced. This person is your most important VIP person because with this person's support, with their rubber stamp, Along with all your invited guests, the project that you have been dreaming of can happen. But this person first needs to be convinced by the other invited guests. Why are they going to support your cause rather than a different cause that's also worthy? Why do they want to pick your cause? That's right, because you're going to find some way of presenting information that is compelling and convinces that person that they need to join with the other people at your party and make this happen. This point in the process, it is time to create your proposal. You're going to find an image that inspires people to support your cause. Horrible images do not inspire. Horrible images scare people. Maybe you can horrify them into taking some action, but they're not going to want to come to your party and get horrified some more. Hopeful images do inspire enthusiasm. And you're going to find that image. And this is not the image of the party. This is the image of the cause. Remember, no words or cartoons, unless you're promoting cartoons, or logos. Those can be added later in the essay, and I'll show you that in the outline portion, but not the title image. Now this is tricky because what if my cause really is life a problem? You know, I mean, what if this is a really serious problem or something that involves something horrible? How do I find a title image that makes my reader want to read on, wants to know more about this? Let's say that I want to rise, raise $3 million for a neighborhood small view zoo renovation. I can't show the horrible pictures or I'm going to dissuade my reader. I don't want to show pictures of 
you know, mistreated animals or anything like that. I want my reader to go, oh man, this looks like something I might like to get involved in. Though the image needs to show benefit and allow the reader to use the reader's imagination in how they might help. So this is just one image that I selected. And you see this family with the kids in the little cart? And look at this dilapidated fence and and we're going to have a neat title that indicates that this is a zoo that needs some loving care. Now look at this image. Doesn't that look awful? I mean, it's a great image. All the greenery and the little family and everything. But it's so dark. So I just simply made it a crisp, sharp picture by simply clicking on the picture and using the word easy things to make it look. That just really does make that pop, doesn't it? Now I've got my title image. I'm going to come up with a clever title and I'm going to be ready to complete that proposal template, which you will find in the proposal submit here tab. And I'm going to fill that out with as much information as I have at the time. And then I'm going to be, once I get that proposal back and it's graded, then it's time to get to move on to the outline phase. I know. Some of you say, outline, I don't want to outline. I don't like to outline. You will thank me for this. Not right now, but when you've created this beautiful essay, you will thank me for this. So let's take a moment and let's go over this outline together. Throughout this outline, I've showed you what the purpose of the section is, and I've included what's, what you need to have in this paragraph. So I've showed you how many sentences and you are a big part of this event. You are the host or hostess of this event. So you want to include a picture of yourself. That is not a picture of me and you know it, you know it and I know it, but I just found this in a costume thing and I did a, took a little screenshot of it and cropped it. And that's just a little picture of who, my fictional character is that's hosting this event. And then you follow through this template. Instead of define the cause one sentence, you'll actually write in the sentence. Go ahead and make this a sentence outline. Now I'm gonna come down to the next section. Definition of terms is one to two paragraphs depending on how many facts you need to tell your reader. If it's pretty something pretty simple, it doesn't require quite as many sentences. If it's more complicated, then it does need more sentences. So I've given you the section here and you're gonna to transition to your sentence and you're gonna plan whatever it is that you're planning that transition sentence takes us to the next section, which is the event plan. Simply follow this template. After you've outlined what the, what the topic is, what the event plan is, now we're ready for the phase one of the event, which is the arrival of the guests and the VIP featured guests. And that's, again, just follow through here. Now, in the VIP guests, you want a picture of the person who needs to be convinced, the person who can make this project happen. If, let's say, I found a piece of machinery, uh, some really wonderful high angle thing, and I want the, ho the hospital to buy this piece of equipment that will help whatever demographic I have selected. Maybe that person that needs convincing is the CEO of the hospital. Maybe a rubber stamp from that CEO could make this happen, whatever it is. And then you will include a picture of that VIP guest. I added a, a, just a quick picture here of somebody that looks, you know, official. You don't want to, you want a person that looks like they're in a position to make your dream come true. Maybe that person that needs convincing for my playhouse is a prominent actor. And I want to picture that prominent actor. One of the things to make sure is that remember that this person that needs convincing is going to be at the party. So I think a nice little shot like this, little three-quarter shot, 
that shows their head and shoulders and a little bit of themselves is a good idea because it, just showing a headshot doesn't really show me that person who's going to be walking into my dinner party. Now I'm going to move on to the actual event itself. And I'm just going to follow this template. Sentences plus an image. The entertainment is going to come in here. And now I'm going to go down to convincing the VIP, that person that needs convincing. That's this paragraph. And at the end of this paragraph, that's right. The VIP that needs convincing makes a statement that supports your cause. Two sentences about. And then we have our conclusion, and I've outlined exactly what goes into the conclusion. And at the end of the essay, you will show very happy people the outcome of this event. Very happy people. And a quote from one of your featured guests, one of your VIP guests. Just like that. Now you don't have to have, I mean, I just have to find a picture with the quote to the side of it. You can add the quote below it if you want to, if you don't find it handy like that, but that's perfectly fine. Next, you're going to remove all the outline markings and create your essay. Remember, do not include any outline markings. And of course, we want to make sure that that's all in Times New Roman 12 font, double spaced. Step 11 is to add the works cited below that. We all know how to do that from the very first uh, experiences this semester. Next, add your outline to the bottom. And then step, final step, proofread, edit, save this as a PDF, and submit. And that's it. Follow these handy step-by-step -step instructions and you will create an essay that some of you may have not thought you would be able to do when you started this semester. It is going to be a thing of beauty and a masterpiece. So enjoy this project, have fun with it, and remember to follow the directions one step at a time.